Hey, do you have a minute? I sure do. Do cool. you? Yeah, because this is a one minute Wednesday. All right, let's go. And wait till we show them oh. where we are. Mm -hmm. This is a Just real have a cool look spot. At this. Yeah. So, wait a minute. Before we show you, we get the cash, then we'll show you. One minute. One cash. Cue the title. Start the clock. Go. go. Where do you think it's, it's right going to be? I'm thinking right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't miss it. Woohoo! We got it. But look at that. It's right behind a wigwam. This is the massive wigwam, wig, wigwam front office. And it's a hotel. Yeah, it's a look teepee at all village. The rooms. Yeah, it's a wigwam village. And that's what this cache is called Wigwam, wigwam village. village. Yeah. Wigwam motels or wigwam villages were a chain developed by Frank A. Redford, built during the 1930s and 40s. Redford applied for a patent of the buildings on December 17, 1935. And yes, that is a swastika in the original drawing. The swastika, adopted by the Nazis, was popular with many cultures as a symbol of good luck. Seven villages were built between 1933 and 49. They were in Alabama, Florida, Arizona, Louisiana, California, and Kentucky. The three surviving motels are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. There you go, the Wigwam Village. Yeah, who'd have thought, eh? Yeah, we could not, not stop here nope. on our uh, road trip through Kentucky and the southern states. Another sight to see. Yeah, one of those roadside places that just, wow, really? Keep <laughs> watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, where will geocaching take, take you? you.